Hi everybody, this is Lance. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna do a little painting today that should be fun. It's a cabin I drew out of three-handed. Okay, put a little on there. We might get some glare in here. I was looking it over, but we'll see how it goes. I don't think it'd be that bad. Again, I'm not ready. Here, I need some more. Some more. There we go. All right, I'm going to start out today, and I want to do yellow ochre. I'm going to come down here and just try to make it yellow around here on the, okay, on the bottom. Okay, should have started up a little higher and bring it down. There, something different. So if you want to learn to paint, we're going to start with our, this is our, uh, horizon okay want some yellow in there we can go over the mountains a little bit as long as we can see them okay if we can see them then we can i missed from about a foot away you get too close and you get too much glare and whatnot but there see this is acrylic and it's pretty simple hopefully it's showing up good let me look at the camera not too bad not too bad. I'm going to try and lower the light a little bit. There. That looks good. I like that light better. Okay. I can't see as much, but okay. It looks better on the camera. If you want to down here, put a little light in. A little light at the base. It's opaque, so it'll cover. And mix it in there. I don't have, I'm doing a vertical one today because I'm hoping this looks good on, it'll, it might be a good one to put on YouTube later. It, vertical's nice because it gives you a lot of, there, how's that look? I like that. Okay. I think the video looks better. Maybe you can see it better. It's not too bright, is it? I'd like to go a little brighter. That's stupid. How's that? Too bright, isn't it? That'll be right. Okay. I can maybe dull it down a little bit and edit it. Get some light here. Good. Okay. Then I'm going to come in and get a little... You know what? I'm going to try this. I've got some orange. I'll put a little orange over here. This is going to have a crazy sky. And this is acrylics. So, okay. We're going to put some orange right here. Do what you want. See, that's kind of wet. Let's come on the top of the yellow and blend it in. You got to be careful because when this stuff dries, there's no more blending. Okay, these are acrylics and a little orange. And you can go like that. You kind of bring it down. Maybe kind of close it in a little. Right here. There. And that makes it. Looks all right, doesn't it? I'm gonna clean this off, kind of dry this off a little bit. I'm just gonna use this. I think I can blend it with this. I'm gonna bring them right where they meet, kind of blend them. You can wipe them off a little bit if you have to. This is gonna dry quick, so you want to make sure and just blend up. It looks just so fun. They're tough though. You gotta get, kind of gotta get used to them a little bit because they can be kind of difficult okay yeah we're going to darken that down in editing so i need to see it good too hopefully you can hear the fan going in this room hmm. all right what color should we use next to use some crimson okay we want it to be kind of a bit darker as we get out so i got some crimson here okay i'm going to do it other foot away i use this about a foot away perfect doesn't get too much. Watch this. Same thing. We're going to come right in here and follow the outside. I'm going to put a little on my palette too over here. Okay. Back and forth. See? And it's still wet. Crimson's so strong, but it looks good. And bring it down. That's why we keep it a little wet. That doesn't look too awful bad, does it? Okay, I'm gonna take my 
brush, wipe it off. This is just a flat brush. I found it looks pretty good. And this is a canvas panel we've got here. Okay. Now I've got some blue right here, but I'm going to have to use, I want a darker blue. And I know I have, I think I have a Prussian blue. I thought I had a Prussian blue. Maybe I don't. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll use some purple instead. Because the blue I had is not, uh oh, I never used this purple before. That might be all right. I don't care about my colors today. I don't just think it'll look fine this way. I'll throw that out of the way. Okay. Again, I'm going to grab some of this purple. It's going to be pretty wild. There. That looks all right. Is it realistic? Who cares? When you're painting, you know, it doesn't matter. And that'll mix and make a little different color there Why it's wet. But go up here. You, know, you can do whatever you want on painting. Is it really, when you're painting, it's uh, individual. Everybody paints different. Pull that down. Remember, run that down into there. Get a little more dark over in the sides. There. I like that color. There. A little bit over here. There's our sky. Okay. That doesn't look too bad. You can come in and mix some purple. It's red and purple together. Or crimson and purple. And we'll do that in a minute. I don't want to do it yet. But I want to get a little blending in here. I'm going to just use the same one and just, I've cleaned it. I'm going to come back in and see if I can grab some of this. See, some of it's still wet. And just blend out so you don't lose your acrylic. This is much easier when you're using. There. It's a lot easier when you're using oils. <laughs> so all that's been done so far with one brush. Okay. And you see the glare up there, but that's okay because um, it'll go down. It's just wet. That's why it glares. Okay. So I'm going to do, I'll take that purple and that crimson. And maybe we'll have a little cloud going through here. Maybe just a little something. Not a lot. I want it dark. Okay. Hands out. You can use it. See how you can use this brush? Take a little it up, down, just pull it some more. I could put some black in there too, but purple and that crimson look good. Okay, a little bit more right up in here, make that a little bit higher. Just move it around. Okay, no mountains in this one. And pull the bottom out. All right, move it down here. Some more right in there. Angle them in. Kind of looks good, doesn't it? There. A little bit here. There. There's your clouds. We need to leave them like that. Okay, not bad, not bad. I'm going to try and darken this a little bit. Let me try again. Do -do. There, that looks better. I'll just have to deal with it. Low light, but I think that looks better. Okay, so there's our clouds. And if you wanted to, obviously our light's coming from the bottom. We could take some orange, a little ochre, orange. Just a little bit. Come on the bottom here a little bit. A little bit there. Not much. A bit underneath. Stuff to it. Ooh, too much white. You can get rid of it if you want. There. If you don't like it, you can come back in with some of that orange and stuff and cover it up. Okay. A little bit, maybe it gives it. There. There. Do -do -do -do. Now, what are we going to do with these mountains? I'm going to have them to be a little gray. Get some gray. A little 
gray on the top of my thing here. And these will stand out good, hopefully. Want some gray and some blue. Okay, blue, gray, purple maybe, blue, the blue, just a touch of that purple in there. Okay, more gray. I'm just mixing over here. And we're gonna have to have a little brown in there too. Okay. My palette's moving over here because it I ripped it loose. It's just a paper palette, a little brown in there. Oh, they're distant. Okay, let's just see how this looks. Okay, just gonna come in and pop this in there. There. There we go. Okay, and these might be the Tetons too. I don't know. Maybe they are over to there okay and you gotta kind of decide I'm gonna split them down the middle this way and this way okay I'll just pull them out looks all right come over here and get this brushes there one there there we go and then over here we're gonna come in and put that little one and this is I don't know, just there. That's a little lighter than I want to get a little lighter there. A little more gray. There we go. There. Lighten it up because it's far. You know, they're back there a ways. There. That one comes that way. There. I don't know. We're just going to lighten the base of the mount. Distant mountains, they don't, they don't really matter. That's my favorite part is this. Mr. A little more blue, maybe. Is that right? Isn't that? Is that brown? A little more brown in there, too. Okay, maybe this is a way for me to paint, not being able to really see my painting as much as normal. Okay, go over here, go that way. And as we get closer, you know, we can get some color down here, get a little brown in there. Go with a touch of crimson. Oh, that's too much. Get some color in there. A little brown. A little gray. Down here. Okay. Things get closer. And I think we're going to go right to there. Things get closer. We can bl bl pull that up there. We can work on these in a minute, too. up into the mountain. Probably get a little green in there too. Get a little ochre to that. Watch this. That could darken it up if there's blue in there. Get a little blue in there. Watch this. The base. That blue in the ochre will turn make a green. Down here you can do that. Pretty. So those peaks you want them to stay a little more. See down here you can have a green coming down closer to you. There. Over here we can just blend a little bit. This brush is working good. Pretty sure it got dry. Some blend these in. I don't know. A little white here and there. And maybe mist some mist up in here. Just tapping. A lot easier to do when it's dry. Distance. Tapping, brush strokes, whatever. See, that comes that way. That comes that way. You know, and you can have the light you know, in the darker spots. You could put a little more some red in there. That's a little blue, maybe. If you wanted to. Blue in there. Crimson and blue. And you can come over here and say, maybe there's a little shadows on the side. blue. 
There we go. This just gives you some little indication of the little more blue. Okay. There, see that gives you some little. And over here, we want to go maybe this side has got some more shadow. Not. much purple doesn't matter we'll mix it with it okay there all right a little maybe the light's hitting that way i don't know you want it to be pretty soft back there though you don't want a lot of see grab and pull 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 got to have a little fun oop too much water see right here you could come in here and make another peak right there goes that way and we could come in maybe get some orange and some yellow ochre. Now this is going to go. Watch this. This could really. A little orange and yellow ochre. Cool. Watch this here. And it might be too much, but maybe there's just a little bit going this way. Cool. There. Light. Doing some of these areas where. Come that way. Now we're going to. Light right in here, right here. Uh -huh. Makes it look kind of cool. Might be a little bit coming through here. Might be a little more, more right in here. I don't know. Anywhere right there. Okay, there. How's that look? Can you see that? Yeah, that doesn't look too bad, does it? A little dark, maybe a little light creeping in here. I don't know. Might be. How's that look? I'll take it. Okay. Hopefully my mic's working. It's a bummer when you finish a painting. My chair's a little squeaky, but when you finish a painting and then, um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Get some gray. Gray and brown, touch of crimson. Much more brown, more gray. Go the way. Start off with this guy. It's gonna be tough. I might have to get another brush. Here's the rough. Be lighter. Put some white in there. Otherwise, you ain't gonna be able to see it. The mountains. It's too big. Okay. Let's see here. I was going to bring some new ones because my other ones are getting banged up. But excuse me. My arm. This might work. It's just an angle brush. Back in. Get some white in there. And let's go back here. And oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Roof. cabin room. There. More white. There. And then there's going to be one here, right? Go here. Pull that down to there. Make it look pretty good there. There's a little dark in there, but you can see the where the cabin is. Okay. Might have to get some darker color. A little black in there too. I'm going to mix a little black. Because we got, I think that's black. Black too, in there, and then we can make this edge stick out here. So we have that little edge there. Remember where that overhang is, and then down here, we want to have a little get this stick out. We'll blend this in. I'm just trying to make that comes this way, it comes down. Okay, and this can have some black on it too, right here. That's meeting. If we make this darker up here, there, that's what I'm looking for. There, there's our rough. Okay, now it stands out a little bit better. A little more black, red, brown. I haven't lost it. It is kind of a silhouette, so the darker the better. And then over 
here, I'm going to have to have some. I can use. I want some more gray on this side here and some brown. Just, okay. I need a different brush. That's all right, though. There, gray and brown. Maybe a little ochre in there, too. Okay, and then you can see where it's coming. There's that side. It's going to be dark, right? I'll put some of that same color right over here on this side. <laughs> see what happens when you get blue in there? Not paying attention. I think I'm going to come back to this one. Watch this. This is dark here, so we'll pull that off. That blue's fine. It's in shadow, so it doesn't matter. Let's lower that in there. Don't look too, too bad. Okay, there's the bottom. Some more of that color over here. Maybe some more gray. Or just throw some white in there, too. Don't lighten it up too much, but there. brown it is a brown building so let me get some more umber okay some more umber and come over here and there we go okay and then we're gonna come over here and do this part there we go a little bit of color maybe a little ochre in there a little lighter Over, pull this down. I don't even know what I'm gonna, how this cabin's gonna end up, but it's like an old barn, isn't it? There, nice barn there. That ochre's nice. Okay, do that right in here. Okay, maybe even just some ochre in there. There we go. Let's look like we're gonna have to have some different colors. There. That looks like old wood, doesn't it? Do that right there. Okay. <laughs> Barn with a bunch of different colors on it. That's okay. We can come back in, get some brown. Turn this up a little bit. There. Go over, come down. Here, same thing. Come over, come down. And we're going to highlight this to make it. Now up here, you're really going to need some dark kind of overhang. Right? I want it dark up here. Oops. We can come down here. More black. Is that black? Back down. Brown in there. Again, let's come over. We'll come back in and fix it. We know where it's going to go. Kind of comes down and turns there. Okay, how's that look? Not a bad looking cabin. I'm gonna come back in and lighten this up though. With some black, Maybe some ochre, and some brown. That's too much. I want this a little lighter here. There we go. There. Put those there. There. So you have that. Not too bad. Okay, and this can come up here. Watch this. We'll get a little ochre here. Bottom here. Okay, that'll be darker up there. Pulls all that in. Okay, and then we've got the roof. The roof. The roof. Give me some of that white. Get some of that other color here, and we can come in a little bit of it. Here. Come in here and do this. There, how's that look? That looks pretty good. Drop some black over here. I'm trying to get angles here. I have some dark here. See the rough comes down. That kind of gives a little underage there. Black here again. Okay. Starting to look better all of a sudden. Okay, that looks good. This is going to have to have some right here. Right underneath there. See that? Painting's easy. 
Anybody can do it. I'm going to try to shift my chair here. Ouch. Kick the can in here. Where can there? There. There. And then you can come in and go out a little bit here and get in there because that's dark up there. Right? Under the eave or whatever it's called. Okay. Old, old barn, old roof. Okay, I'm going to take some red. Okay, that's red. Some brown. I'm going to put some just red. Watch my arm. Crimson. Give it some color. And then we're going to need some right here. Some here. Some red on that roof. Give it some red right here. Some shingles. See? Put down. Full. I like that. One more. There we go. And then some here. All the angles. Follow the angle. That's what's pretty red. Sorry. There. Oh, let me take your finger and block that off. Okay. Okay. And then we'll kind of come in and highlight some of this and make it feel good. We're at 26 minutes. That's pretty good. Okay. We do have some glare, so sorry. Okay. And then what are we going to do? Now I'm looking, I'm looking. Some yellow ochre, white, and let's come in here. It's a little lighter. Right. Okay, let's even add some orange in there. That's good. See that? Orange is a great color for barns and yellow ochre. Same over here. Mix it up. Make it look like a wood. Okay. Down. It's that dark spot under there, right? We're going to leave the front a little lighter. Then the sides can be darker, even though it's almost a silhouette. But okay, over here, a light shake and. There, okay. That goes that way. Leave it darker. There. I like that. Okay. Come in. I like that. Now up top here, we can still do the same thing. Get some orange up here. Okay. A little brown up there. Let's pull down here too. Slightly. So that top's darker, right? There. Some darkness up there. See that? That looks good, doesn't it? Okay. We got some sides here. That's going to be a little darker. We can come in and a little more. Get that. Add some brown. Ochre and brown. Watch this. it darkens it up. Darkness. Over here we want a little lighter, but not as see? That looks better. And you can have little things in there. But not much. You want that lighter. Okay. I like that now. It's pretty good. Now watch what we can do here. Let's get some drier. Some more ochre. Some orange. A touch of brown in there. Watch this. These colors mixing good. 
what I mean by that is, are they complementing each other? <laughs> there, let me think. See, good. Our cabin is getting there. Okay, now the easy part, we're gonna do a, one of these. needs more black and let it dry a little bit we're gonna come back okay my chair squeaking hopefully my mic isn't picking it up but uh, there we go now we're gonna come back and put some grass in get some green put it right here get some green I need more brown get some more brown okay and we'll just come in and Oh boy, let's see what brush I'm gonna use. Okay, same one. I'm gonna get some brown, green, and some red. Okay, some green in the front. Oh, get some white in there. Okay, this might be good. I'm gonna come down in here and just mix that in. Okay, lighter, darker as it gets towards you, right? And then down here, it's just going to be, better do this, there, see the green, there you go, I wish I had a big, I do have a bigger brush, but, okay, so just put, there, okay, composition wise, you want to, but see the green, that looks good, so we're going to come in and just, I don't want to ruin this brush, but you can kind of wash it too, if you want too dark somewhere you can hit the cabin there okay you can lighten it up back here a little bit see you want it darker as it gets towards you get a little more color down here i don't want to spend much time on this see the green in there you can add some red it'll offset the green right red and green when you mix them they turn brown they balance each other out art 101 okay i'm gonna try something here something a little bigger let's see can i use this brush yeah Get some water on it not too much though so i'm gonna grab this one and just kind of come in and you know to get a this is bigger so i can speed things up and you want darker when you get to the bottom. You can get green, but get some black in there. Whatever. Down here, you want darker. Watch this. I need more black. My black's drying out. There. There. How are we doing? 33 minutes. It's not too bad. Bang. Get me some black. Bottom. Green, black, dark. There. See? So that says, see, moving around a little bit. Any more black down here, it'll draw the eye up. It'll draw the eye to the middle, hopefully. It's kind of the, the process and you're darker as you get closer to you. So this will kind of lead the eye up. It's wet though, okay. Let's come in and do some more. There, darken that up. Spray my palette down. How's that look? We okay with that? Okay. All right. So what else we got? We got to work on this door. I need to clean that one off. I need a nice flat, bigger flat brush, but I don't. There. Make sure these are clean. That's good. I like that. I think it's looking pretty good. We are gonna need the old liner brush today, though. Okay. So we're gonna come back. Some more black, right? Come in here. Let me make this a big bar door. See that's dried out a little bit more. There's a big cow in there. Maybe, maybe there's one over here. We have a door over here. I don't know. I'm gonna make them this way because they're gonna be a little. There. Maybe that one has. That's almost. It's a. Kind of a three-quarter view. OK, 
Okay, and then you clean that off. Don't worry about down here. We're just going to blend it out. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, I'm going to go back in just to be kind of dry and put some more black right in here. Okay, that's what I want. There's a little cross in here. Fine details, make it pop. And over here, I'm going to throw that again up in here. Touch it like this. Some dark under there. Okay. Over here, we're going to do the same thing. This way. I got blue on there again. Don't want that. And that's not even a dark blue. It's not a transparent blue. If it was transparent, it would mix with the black and wouldn't even be able to see it. little line going down. Over here you're gonna need one. Good. Not too bad. Okay. And I want one right here. Here. I want a line here. Okay, now that that's the separation of the, the two pieces there. It gives a little overhang. Okay, and then I'm going to take my liner brush, put a little water on it, get some black. It's a good liner brush. I haven't ruined it yet. And I might come up here. I'm just going to kind of do this. And right here, I want a little ledge. There, going down. How's that look? There. It's not too bad. I like it. Okay, now we're going to have some fun. Okay, and since I have the liner brush, We'll make some little boards in here. Okay. They look old and old and worn out. You know, on here, same thing. Boards. And one could go the other way too. I think I was gonna do it the other way, but a lot of times the boards on certain areas go different directions. We need a line there. We need to make sure that we can we can tell where this change is over. See, let's put that there. And just pull these in a little easy. See? Random. Barely touching. Pull down. Some can be bigger than the other ones. That's fine. Small. See? Little things there. There we can do some over here. Okay, same thing. Just indications. You don't really need to. Little cabin there. Have some here. See? Over here. There. There's our cabin. We got some little indications on him. Yeah, he looks good. I think he looks pretty good. And then up here. A little dark here. Put that down there. That'll fit there. How's that look? That'll make it stand out. Sometimes you need to have light. You gotta go straight though. That's there. And they do look nice on there. That's kind of indication where that top is. See? I like that. I think it looks good. Okay. Then if you want, watch this. Ochre and some orange. It's drying on me though. Okay, a little ochre and orange. This. That. We're gonna do the same thing. Don't want it too much there. Lip there. See, gives it a little more. Just having some fun. You can do this all day, you know, all day. Where else would I need a little bit right here? Let's kind of make that stand out a little bit. Get over here in the dark. 
much. You can you can mess with this all day. Now that we want to do it's more black and more so too much, too much. Put up the roof here, maybe. Yeah. These indications there. A little dark right on the bottom of that. Watch that. He's going that way, right? Little indications. And on the roof over there. Right? It's much darker. We're just we're getting the glare. Let me see if I can show you. There we go. Look at that. There we go. See? That's kind of what I was hoping for, but this way it goes. I bet. We got that light. A little bit of light. No big deal. Okay, let's finish this up. Okay, it's time to be done. So we're going to leave that, but I think I'm going to have to have, I'm going to take the orange and the colors we had. What am I going to, ooh, yeah, we're going to do a, a fan brush, okay? We're going to take orange, yellow ochre, and not too much, you know, maybe a touch of red in there, brown. Push it in, watch this. We're gonna come in and just have some fun up front here. Just put some little things in. Yeah, see? Let's put some ground in. And it mixes with that green. Stay dark, don't don't kill it all. See? You come over here. I like that. It's working good. I want some more orange and yellow ochre and brown. Orange, yellow ochre, and brown. And that's how our ground's going to be. Might even throw in some. Yeah. Okay, we'll do some more of that. See, I don't really, when you're tapping, you don't need, I'm just mixing these up. Watch. In your, in your, around here. Much brown in there, that's okay. And then some more orange crap. When you're tapping, you don't you don't need it to be wet. See? Go up here. You want it to be see, grab the bottom. Just tap. Make a little the ground. Don't don't kill all the green though. Or the base color. And then come back up here and just kind of see where that is. Just tap it in. Does it? A little more yellow ochre. See? Oh, yeah. It does. A little bit more. Orange is a good color when you're. You don't use, I don't use it a lot, but it looks good on barns. Just tap that in there. Okay. You want it to look right down below, make it bigger, make it closer. These ones can be a little softer back here. Okay. See? Look at that. There's your foreground of grass. Kind of an old, rustic looking. And I want to take some brown on that same brush and black. Okay, that black in there. And you want to come up down here and tap under the house and make it darker. See? I'm gonna need a little more black. I can find it. There it is. Okay. Just about done here. Barn. Black. I'm just tapping some black on there. I want this to be darker. See, right in there. Under the house. I can bring that over there. There. And you can darken some areas here too if you want. 
down at the bottom. In here and darken that. Some green. There's some green in there. Push up or you can come this way. And push whatever you way you want. There. I like that. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, my water's filthy. Okay, now we're going to have to make a path. So I'm going to grab some brown and black. I'm going to come out here. Start there. Every. There. Looks like you want to leave the camper, or the camper. You want to leave the cabin, or the barn, or whatever the heck it is. There. Dark. That's dark. I want to take, grab some yellow ochre. Get some orange, not much. I want it to be light. Get some white in there. And just kind of come in here and make a path. I want to go lighter, more white. So this will stand out more. There we go. Okay. That'll stand out. Get some more white. And just this works good with a knife too, but get back in there. 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 If you get too much, just mess around with it till it's the way you want it. Okay. There. We're looking good. We're about done. Okay, let's see what else. Do 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 do. Watch this. I don't usually do this, but I don't want to mess it up. I'm gonna put it that way though. There's no, looks better. There's our cabin, our mountains. We got a liar brush. That's one other thing here. Let's get some colors here. White, just some good orange, crimson, orange. Watch this, this will be cool. Right here. Water. It's an old, dirty old orange. On there. Yeah, there. Here. Okay. There. There. They're smaller as they go up to the house, right? There. Maybe that one comes up. Kind of just go away. I don't want to lead your eye out of the painting, but there's that one there. A little bigger, farther away. There. And then we can come in here. What do you think? It's dark though. Make it dark a little bit. And some dark ones over here. There. Okay. More black if we had it. Well, might as well do it because I want it to look right. More black up there. I like this one. A little black add it to there watch this pull that side down that'll make it stand out more yeah, there we go right on the end of it okay fence a little twitchy there see that and then you can come back in black Here, maybe this one fell. Fell there, and then this one can go over. Okay. That's a little lighter as you get farther away, just smaller, just barely a touch. There. Then you can come back in. Get some more of that orange. Watch this. Some dirty orange. And just rolling it. And you can put some little highlights on the top of these. A little bit so they stand out. See? It's a lot of water in it. Sorry. There. Okay. Fall down. 
There, I want those to stick out a little bit more. There. And then on top, you can go like this. Put some tops on them. Go across, make them look like that. I want that one a little brighter. There, just like that. Okay, and there's your fence. Okay. Now, if you wanted to make it stand out a little bit more, you got a little white. Not much. I got a lot of just a little bit of highlights here and there. More white, a bit there. This is wet. Now, if I let it dry, if you come back in, it'll be a little better. There, a little bit right there. This. There, you can see the tops of those. There. What do you think? I'll come back in, maybe do a little lighter on the side of this. That stand out a little bit. A little white. Much. A little bit right here. Quickly. There, there. There, something like that. Should be good. What do you think? Good enough? Yeah, that looks all right. A little mountain cabin. I think it'll look just fine. So, I'm going to do this. Since I have a bunch of orange left, I come in and go. Really quick, find it. There, there's my initials, and we're done. So thanks for checking in and watching this one. Hopefully you like it. Have a great day.